Hey, welcome to episode 41 of Front Seat Gamer. I'm Nick. I'm here with Severn. Hey, Nick. And Blake. Hey. No guests today. We've been talking for about uh, Dude, two like hours. Hour. Yeah, two hours. <laughs> we had a two-hour <laughs> podcast about... We're like, all right, let's just get sit down. We'll, we'll have a little chat. We'll do our mm-hmm. sound check, and then we'll start recording. And then um, we started talking about politics. I'm so. sorry. I derailed the... Yeah. Severn was like, what so, do you think uh, about Trump? <laughs> so the, so the, <laughs> two so, hours later. So the outro for this podcast is going to be a two-hour-long <laughs> outro. <laughs> So um, it'll be a four hour, a three hour podcast. We, to be fair, we also watched the uh, intro to the first episode of Pokemon. Oh yeah, it's and cool. um, like the poke, we watched the poker app, and then we. Watched... Well, I mean, you kind of forced that on us. Well, like it was uh, we had no. Severn choice. asked to watch the poker app, and mm-hmm. I said, "Absolutely." <laughs> Forced is um, it was requested, and I obliged. <laughs> uh. All right, so what are we talking about today? Basically, normally we talk about what we've been playing. I don't think any of us have been playing anything um, other than like anything new. Uh, 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 oh, uh, actually, I have been playing a couple games. But so anyway, we no. had some <laughs> we had we had some heated topics at work this entire freaking week. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll kick it off. But, um, oh, we're going we're going straight to that. No, I'm out unless you want to go for it. Oh man! All right, okay. so, so Campbell finished the uh, the Witcher three. I'm big, I'm getting he close as well. Yeah, he, I'm a, on, he's yeah. a huge yeah back uh, Blake's yeah. back playing it. Yeah. Um. And I thought, I thought I could just put this <laughs> statement out there by saying, Grand Theft Auto V technically is better than The Witcher Three, and I had a lot of heated. Well, rip- you okay? You say that's like that. That sounds reasonable, right? Mm-hmm. And like Grand Theft Auto is doing a lot of things that I think The Witcher isn't doing. Mm-hmm. But you didn't start off saying that. I, this, this evolved over I, the entire week. You started I, off saying, The Witcher 3 is garbage! <laughs> <laughs> Which eventually, over five days, evolved now, to <laughs> Grand Theft Auto is technically <laughs> doing more. Well, I, I thought I made my argument clear by, by saying, But <laughs> it's garbage! But, but, but every time I brought up these two games, people would laugh at me, and yeah. they, would, they would say, The Witcher is this awesome game. It's, it's yeah, bigger. it is. It's... <laughs> Yeah, it's a bigger game, therefore it's better. Well, that's not the only argument. Oh, dude, it's dialogue trees are fantastic, and yep. I these are not ways I measure. These, these are not technical points. Yeah. Like you're right. talking about dynamic, like yeah. whatever, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> textures. You're talking it's always about textures. You're talking. <laughs> it is not all about textures. You're, damn t- it. you're talking about displacement maps yes. and and god rays <laughs> and yes, which is fair enough because this, this is what I care about. Yeah, a- a- as an artist. I, okay. I feel like these are very important yeah. tools for yeah. any developer now, to have. I'm going to pause you right there. I've played a little bit of GTA uh, 5. I'm, I've, I've made maybe not like 20% through or something like what that. What did you think of its displacement maps? I don't know what they are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is that where you put a map down and then you can't find it later? You, you mis- no, that's misplacement <laughs> oh, right, maps. Okay. Um, <laughs> is that where you put a map in a bath and you see how much... The water, water is level rises. <laughs> That's a volumetric yeah. uh, measurement. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Displacement map. That's how volumetric lighting works. Actually. Okay, right. Yeah. You put light in the bath. Yeah, you'll yeah. put light in the bath. Um, now, uh, I haven't played much of The Witcher Three, but I've seen Blake playing it, and I uh, know a little bit about it. But how? Mm-hmm. This, the, my point is, I I'm not on either side here. Um, I enjoyed GTA Five. Witcher Three looks great. Mm-hmm. I want you to. Oh God! I'm going to be the moderator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I think this makes the most sense. I want you two to give me point and counterpoint. Oh my God! Try and convince dude, me of your argument. I, I, <sighs> well, dude, remember we're just talking about technically. Okay. Let's not talk about garbage Look, story. Okay. I, I but now, feel, okay. I'm going to pause you right there because if we're just talking technically. Mm. Who cares? <laughs> I, I care. Look, his, his, dude, his, it's it's like the a... holistic experience that matters, right? Yes, it's it's the whole that matters, not the the parts. But here's the thing: let's well, talk about a donut. <laughs> yeah. Well, you buy the whole. You buy the whole separate. You can buy yeah. a donut whole separate. Well, you're just buying empty space, then, right? 
<laughs> no, they, they, you buy the thing that is punched out that makes the hole. They're called uh, munchkins. Oh, yeah. 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 You've Dunkin' had Donuts. Them. Shout yeah. out to Dunkin' Donuts. Delicious. But um, um, so this podcast sponsored so he, by Dunkin' Donuts. So here's the thing. Like, okay, lay it out. I, you love GTA so much that you dive deep into it. You just swim around in all the technical stuff. You're watching GDC talks. You're like zooming in on textures and looking at the parallaxing and all sorts of stuff. Mm. It's like, I like The Witcher a lot, but not quite to that level. I don't want to zoom in on stuff. I Like, you know more technically of what is going on in gta than i know mm. about the witcher mm. so you like feel like the, this would be an unfair fight a, a, a little bit but here's the like the thing is what i see from the witcher is that it is it's not doing anything well i don't think it's doing anything new right it's just doing things better than things in the past like it still has a lot of the same like graphical issues that games like it have had you know like dragon age or mass effect have had mm -hmm. um what kind of graphical issues are you talking? Well, I'm I'm thinking of stuff like uh uh so so like armor, right? Yep. On a character, mm -hmm. right? Um that is like part of the actual mesh, like of the of the model. It's not like armor that's switched out. Yep. Right? So when they then go and like paint the weights for the um the bones, right? Yep. So what mesh is influenced by what joints. Um that's that's part of the rigging process yeah part of the rigging yeah um the armor ends up basically being like skin right rather, rather than, a little wrong yeah it like right. someone will bend over and the chest that is actually metal will bend we'll flex. with it yeah we'll yeah. flex with it where it shouldn't be doing that like yeah. that's just like that's just stuff well, that's dude, happened in previous games right like you know forever sure 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 you know we, we dude we do that now game and but we, our, our we, game we gets away with path. Yeah, but we get a pass because the camera's so zoomed out. You're not, like, right up yeah. close. But, but I also wouldn't measure... Because Grand Theft Auto, you can switch close. Um, yeah. But you're not wearing hard with it. armor. Like, it's not like... Yeah. It's, like, it, it can break your, like... like immersion. Uh, immersion, yeah. Mm. Or your... Yeah, your... Um, you know, what's it called? Suspense of disbelief Yeah, or you can't suspend your disbelief quite Yeah, well. because, like, you see something that should be... Uh, knight in shiny armor and it's just his armor's just like flexing like it's like rubber right um, you see you right. see a rigid material and acting like cloth it's yeah off putting yeah whereas like if you're looking at gta characters are just wearing cloth yeah so. dude i'm I, I i never brought up that point like i mean but uh, yeah it, I'm, I'm bringing but, up that point that's a point but, against the witcher which i'm supposed to be fighting for but so like, far so like, winning <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> hear me out like th this is a, a problem seen in a lot of fantasy games yeah it'd be cool if tech were there to support that it, right it would it would be but in the witcher it's not and that's what i'm saying is that the witcher is not doing anything drastically new right like I'm sure there's like new cool stuff that they invented, but it's just stuff that you don't really notice, you know, okay. because it's not like GTA where <laughs> you've got like the three character thing where you zoom up to the sky and then you zoom back down like that. That's pretty new. This is another point that's against some cool the Witcher. New stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. Two two points to. <laughs> so that's two points, right? <laughs> two points to Severin, apparently. <laughs> Why am I? Are we on the he's, same? He's What's scoring that? himself. Uh, like you're digging it's, that deep. Make it <laughs> tricky. That hole. But that's that's the thing is like. You can't like you can't judge it on those specific things because no, you can. You can't say that oh, The Witcher is a terrible game because of the it's not doing anything drastically new. It's just doing things like well better. Yeah, yeah. it's like so, it's, it's like of okay, that? it's like um, it's like Overwatch. Mm -hmm. Overwatch is not really doing anything new. It's just Team Fortress Two, but it's like better. I, I right? thought we're not gonna. Better. I and, thought we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> What? <laughs> I, I, sorry, I thought we were just going to focus this on technical stuff. Yeah, I know, but I'm... Yeah, okay, but... Well, if we're talking about... Okay. Uh, because I, game design we, is another thing. If we're talking... Well, <laughs> um, it's, all, it's just all holistic experience. <laughs> um, uh, if we're talking about, like, the um, the the meshes flexing in odd ways, mm. it, this raises an interesting question of, like, how much is that actually worth in terms of developer time versus player, um, like... Uh, experience so like rigging uh an armor set to move in a natural way takes a lot of time like you have to factor in mm. oh this part here is is plate metal this part here is chain and those have to move differently yep and that is a lot of like fiddly fine tuning right well um it's, it's a problem and it'd be cool to see a solution for that yeah but uh and and if you're making those separate meshes then that's like a performance hit right 
you've got no, the, you've got because the body I think, mesh and then you've got the armor mesh. Right. And you have to I'm, when you think it would be a performance. The, the, the way we handle just, it like, for every character doing that to, though to is, create. Like it's not it's not like because I, there's no extra like polys involved. It's just all well, it's just time. I guess you, know? you can hide the, the chest segment. Th that's how we do yeah. deal with yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And, and so yeah, but, I mean, it's the really thing just is drawing like, another texture or a ser like another material for the armor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. sure. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess. But and that's like, very primitive stuff like the, anyway. The th yeah, I mean, the thing with the Witcher is that uh, apart from Geralt himself, you're not changing. No, no, no one else changes clothes. Mm. So so Siri doesn't. Why well, actually, you can get DLC clothes for... <laughs> oh, my goodness. It, do they charge for that? Although, like, now that you is say... It, well, I guess the, the only thing that really changes on people is their heads. Like, because you have NPCs who are just wearing NPC cloth clothes. Mm. And you just change their heads and they're a different person. Mm. Like, that's... Just like real... Like, yeah, just like real. Yeah. Uh, do, do they have different body types in The Witcher? Yeah, they for do. The, I mean, they, they do. They have... They get you know, they have a selection. People. They have... Yeah, they have fat people. Very are they short, all merchants? Tall people? people. Are, are those, fat yeah, they've got dwarfs and gnomes and stuff. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Gnomes? Yeah, but the thing is, you do see some occasionally seem to see the same head on. Does different GTA bodies. have gnomes and dwarves? I don't. Oh, think point, I've for, seen one. point for Witcher. Oh, that is. A point there, for the Witcher. Here's actually: Are there children in GTA outside no. of, like the? No, even in the the NPC, cutscenes and stuff. There's like no oh shit. They, they, I think there would be actually be uprage. Uh, is it because uh, of an, an uprising? Ab absolutely, there would be. Yeah. But you know what? Point to Witcher. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Witcher has. Damn, they can get away with killing children. Hell yeah, dude! It's, the, it's Skyrim a, it's a tough world. Point All right. Skyrim. All right. Yeah. Love. I've, I've, I've okay. Let, a list. Well, I'll. I'll He's do got a my, list. I'll, okay. <laughs> I'll do my list. best. Right. But be aware, you <laughs> know a lot more technical stuff about GTA he, than he, I know any about. He, the here's what The Witcher has. Yeah. I I don't own it. But, so this is just pure <laughs> <laughs> point. Point. Point for GTA. Point, right? point <laughs> for GTA. Severin owns it. Point for GTA. All right. This is just from observation. Yeah. Okay. It it has lore behind it. It yeah. has a series of it books. It has a series of books. Yeah. All right. So there's a world. It's, it's, there's a world there. It's a previous. It's a previously established world. And there's, there's material and to inform that world, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, that's why Game of Thrones was so good because yep. there's like a massive. Book, yeah, story lots of it, context right? for the player mm -hmm. to explore. Yeah. It's it's also a much newer game. Two two years newer. It came out sure. in two thousand fifteen. Yeah. Well, so you say that. So they have yeah. they have, they Same. can use more geometry, polygons, yeah. yeah, and higher texture maps. Yeah, and they're dealing with better hardware. Sure. Except the Supposedly. PC yeah. version of GTA came out what last year. Yeah, that's that's what I was just about to say. Yeah. Like GTA keeps re yeah. they keep relaunching relaunching GTA. itself. Yeah, but they're not they you can't with higher... redo mo models. Yeah, well you can. Well, yeah, that would be like an <laughs> HD remix or something. Remix. I mean, they are, like we have high poly models, right? And then we we downscale them. Oh, what I'm trying so to say is they can just use the high models. poly models. Yeah, yeah and so what you're I'm saying, saying is they can just use high poly models and downscale them less for every asset in Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, they could do yeah. that. I mean, well, for the main guys, like, I mean, a lot of games also have different different model types, right? Oh, dude, that that like, process that you bring up right now is Unreal actually Unreal uses different model. Like high poly and low poly models, depending on the problems. I know, but the ones I'm saying for Grand Theft Auto yeah. were built on PlayStation 3 for mm. that generation of consoles. Sure. Wait, and so they're when... the exact same ones in on the PC. Wait, yeah, so... but they don't have to do that. They could. They can I, I, I know, but that process that you want them to do yeah, yeah. is actually very time consuming. Oh, absolutely. But so is like rigging a body armor to like not flex in a weird way. Sure. You have to make a new skeleton as well. Is that what you're hinting at? No, I'm just saying, like, if if, if we're going to compare apples to apples, you got to, like... No, uh, sorry, I'm just saying the good <laughs> stuff. What I'm trying to put if, out if your point are is good, that... good points of The Witcher. This right, is what they okay. have on top of Grand Theft Auto. So what you're saying is... They have better textures and better models. Boom! Witcher wins. <laughs> Game over. We're, we're, right. we're scoring Game against over. each Witcher other here. Wins. So far, I've scored <laughs> four GTA and so so just so scored so so the Witcher. Now, like, what is happening? Now, now <laughs> let me get right into the sandwich right Right, now. get in there. Get yeah. into it. That was yeah, the, that uh, a, that was the that good, was good that was sandwich. The that that <laughs> common <laughs> phrase, get into the sandwich. Let's All right. Lift up that bread and slide into that lettuce. All right, let's grass. Grass. Yeah. The grass in Grand Theft Auto is Far more technical, like I've, advanced yep, than yep. than the. I, I I would admit that, like, and, and I'm seen, showing you this. Yep, I've seen it, and it it definitely is like the mode grass parts, mm -hmm. like move and like. Well, you know, yep. they have like some sort of and if, and if people, thing happening. If, yeah. if people have Grand Theft Auto, I think it's like the ultra or the very highest texture setting yeah. will enable this. Although and it I, looks fantastic. I will say, there aren't any lawn mowers in um, The Witcher, so. Mm. Two points mm. to Grand Theft Auto. So, <laughs> you know what? I, so, uh, I can't remember. You don't have to worry about grass <laughs> being like that. It's always just tall grass. Are there lawnmowers in GTA? Because I haven't seen any. 
I've heard some, you know. You've you, heard lawnmowers yeah. in I've, the I've distance. I've heard lawnmowers. Are you sure that wasn't just a neighbor while you were playing? It it also could have just been an idling car. Who who knows? Right. I'm gonna guess it was the car. <laughs> Probably. Um, <laughs> but yeah, what what you say about grass? Like that is really cool, and I was really impressed when I saw. Dude, I was blown away. It was it was really really cool. Also, it's such a tiny little detail because <laughs> I know. You, you you had you had a That's sniper why my rifle mind and was flowing. zoomed right down. <laughs> yeah. To look the, at this grass. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot it. it dude, that's <laughs> incredible. Like. The Witcher is a bigger world, mm. right? They don't want to be messing around with like putting that much detail into things. You have a, you have a giant world well, full of like detail. My, my Nobody's looking at like the, the little. The stuff. core of my point is, dude, the Witcher. If they had that, yeah, they would, it would be, be using it, and it would look. That, it would make that game that much better. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's true. Um, I guess that's true. Can you cut the grass with your sword? You can't. One for Zelda. Can there you, you go. Yeah, are you scoring ooh, for Zelda? Yeah. <laughs> can you shoot? Can you shoot a blade of grass in GTA and have that blade separate? No, no, you can't. But you can't set it on fire. You can slice a human being in half. In The Witcher? Yep. How about in GTA? Oh no, there are no swords. Oh, there are knives though. Can you cut you can, someone? You can shank a guy. But can you cut them in half? No. Okay, so what's your point? Yeah. All right. Okay. All let, right. Let's ne- go. Next point. Like yeah. That, water. That's... Water. Let's talk mm, about. Let's talk water. Okay. Let's talk water. Oh. Yep. GTA has fantastic water. Yep. GTA that, does have good that water. That jet skiing. Ooh, love it. That, dude, those wakes. Those. Yeah. Yeah. And Blake showed, you know, I, I brought this up with Blake and he yep. sent me a disgusting image. Oh, of, man. Of Are you going to use that against me? Yes, because it was a bug. <laughs> it was a wizard, did it? <laughs> um, um, you, you, but you, your argument is that. What was, it? What was the bug? Good. What was the bug? It was, it was as if you had a plane of geometry. Yep. And that was the water. you selected ver- vertexes at random and just dragged them into the sky. Yeah. M- maybe three meters up. So the, shot was, okay. the shot was Geralt standing on a beach looking <laughs> right. out over the ocean and there were spikes of water shooting up into the sky. Mm. Mm. So it sounds like there's a point for Wave Race 64 here. Yeah. So that's like, sure, that's a bug. Mm-hmm. I mean, all games have bugs. Like. We're not going to... I mean, do you want to talk about bugs? Because GTA has some bugs. GTA does have bugs, but let's compare its bugs. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, you want to talk about water. Seen... Like, okay, um, like I've said this before, like, The Witcher does really good shallow water where mm. you can see the bottom. It looks really, really nice. Right. Uh, technically, I don't know what they're doing differently. To... I-, I tell you what's going on there, Blake. What? I think... That, here's what I suspect's going yep. on. Shallow water... You've got a little bit of reflection, or yeah. refraction, yeah. sorry, yeah. Re- and reflections. Yeah. Or reflection as you, if you want to use both <laughs> yeah. at the same yeah. time. And you see the bottom. So there's a lot yeah. going on. Yeah, your your yeah. body's like, oh my there's God. Color, there's cool. also a color change. Yeah. If you see from the like shallower, mm. well, from the, the shallower that goes out to the deeper, that gets like darker, it mm. gets like lighter blue and then darker blue and it looks really cool. Yeah. But th- there's just visually a lot going on when you look in yeah. a shallow body yeah. of water. Yeah. Severn is just not talking to his microphone at all. Oh, <laughs> he's, like, he's like facing the other yeah, way. Yeah, get, get in there. Get, in that mic. Um, get, kissing, <laughs> get kissing distance. Dude, but it looks bad. Uh, th- that that well, ocean no, no, water well, was horrible. Yeah, you okay, can't tell me that they're the same. I'm not, not going to say because I've said before to you that their deep water, their ocean water is not that great. Okay. And is that what, a mark for Grand Theft Auto? Can we Yeah, can we well, uh, GTA definitely gets a point for its water. Like Absolutely. It, I mean, the water Waiver 64 is, is functional. It's water. Mm. You go along it. In, in The Witcher. It's fine, yeah. Oh, dude, and another point what against be... that shitty water is that the, 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 <laughs> you've got a crossbow, right? And you can harpoon yeah. things under yeah. it. Yeah, this, this is not a point against The Witcher. This is a point for The Witcher. <laughs> You're, okay. All right. Severn is going to argue what, that... Shooting a crossbow under the water is a terrible thing. Why well, is that terrible? It, because it doesn't it make any sense. Harpoons exist. It doesn't, yeah. Harpoons. Harpoons. <laughs> Torpedoes exist. All right. That, that you know, technology exists in The Witcher. Well, I mean, you know what, ha- it's you just know what happens to a bullet possible, when you right? shoot it into the water? It breaks apart. Like, water is basically bulletproof. All right. <laughs> Shoot, you're uh, shooting an arrow. That's, that's, why, that's how they you? make all those bulletproof cars. <laughs> yeah. They're out of no, water. No, I saw, I saw a Mythbusters thing of it. Like, it's a, it's a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the faster the bullet is going, the the, the least, the less the, it goes into the, the water. Right, like the, the more the, resistance the yeah, water Yeah, and the it water just, provides. It just yeah, yeah, like, yeah. shreds yep, apart. Yep, yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. You get one of those old, like, muskets that goes, like, really far, and a this bow and arrow just goes straight through. Why, when they're doing uh, ballistics comparisons, they shoot the bullets into water. Yeah. but Into water. Yeah. Okay. But here's the thing, like... So uh, everybody knows in video games, underwater combat is, is sucks. It, nobody likes underwater combat. Name a game that has great underwater combat. Name Half-Life. five games that have great underwater combat. Five games. 
Half Life, Half Life Two, Half Life um, Two, Episode One. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I don't think Half Life. I don't two. think they have underwater. Half Life Two. Uh, does it? Uh, is there underwater? Bio, I mean, you there could argue some. that Bioshock. Yeah, it is a little bit. You could argue that Bioshock takes place all underwater. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> point. So Bioshock, Bioshock, Bioshock two. Point. They did underwater combat well, um, but yeah, there's there's a thing. Underwater combat sucks. Like it, it's terrible. Yeah. Right? Um, so rather than having you swing your sword underwater at a enemy that's flying all around you in three, yep, yep, you yep. know, fo- three dimensions, D, three dimensions, uh, they just let you take out your shotgun and one shot it, and, and then it floats. Your shotgun. Surface. I mean, <laughs> man, point for Witcher. <laughs> you wouldn't know your shotgun. Your crossbow. Yeah. And you, you, sh- you shotgun it with your crossbow. You shot, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you fire a shotgun out of your crossbow. Uh-huh. Yeah, but you shoot, it with your, you shoot it with your crossbow yep. and it kills the enemy in one shot as long as you're underwater and it floats to the top. It makes underwater combat way less of a pain in the ass. Yep. Cool. All right. I mean, that, that's it. That's, yeah. All right. But beside the point, it's poor. They're, they're water looks yeah, bad compared their to their deep water i'll give you that their deep water is is not that great mm-hmm. um fair enough yeah but but you you actually I would argue for water, their shallow I water i think their shallow water looks fantastic i okay. really like uh i really actually enjoyed swimming in gta 5 same here man like there's a part where you have to like steal a submarine mm-hmm. of that level yeah the, you have to break into that. that chemical lab uh i you have to yeah, like i just remember going underneath a giant shipping container vessel mm-hmm. um and that was pretty cool the gta 5's water is fantastic let's move on to the next point all right uh I'll, I'll, I'll give you a point to gta because um swimming underwater in the witcher is is a nightmare dude like they had to they like when it first released it was it was almost unplayable underwater mm-hmm. and they like very quickly released a patch to change how you maneuver underwater and mm. it made it a little bit better but whoo and they're very <laughs> they're very generous with how much Geralt can hold his breath because they're like, yeah, we know that we kind of messed up on Man. underwater movement. You know, it did a pretty good job of um, underwater stuff. Bioshock? Ma- Mario 64. Uh, Considering the, its age, the, the underwater levels in Mario 64. I remember under- what underwater uh, levels were there? Dire, dire docks, for example. Very famous. Um, Man, I can't remember. I remember there was underwater. I remember underwater was definitely a thing, but I can't think of a like. Oh, sorry, yeah, the one with the underwater. spiders, right? Spiders, and you kind of press on the button to raise the water level. Oh, there's that one, yeah. But yeah. there's also it's like, the one, like one of the earliest ones. There's like a giant eel that lives in this like basic sinkhole thing, yeah. And like you have to coax the eel out, oh, man, and then you have to chase so after the star that's like attached to its tail. Yeah, <laughs> dude, awesome. that sounds so familiar. You can't remember any of it. I can't, but I can't okay. picture it. Yeah, um, but it sounds familiar. Mario Galaxy, Completely. I think, did underwater worse than Mario sixty four. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah, but but uh, they Under- also did up like that's the thing. Underwater is just a pain. Like it's very difficult because you're, you're it change it plays with perspective in yeah. interesting ways. You suddenly have to account for like above and below in a, in, a, yeah. in a more dire way and um and behind um stuff that approaches from behind can can block the view of the camera, which doesn't mm. typically happen. Yeah, that's on not terrain. Fun. Um. Okay, what's all your right, next point? All right, all right. Bring it up. I'm, I'm just point. gonna, I'm just gonna motor what's this, through. What's the scoreboard looking like? Uh, I think it's like maybe seven to tie five. <laughs> oh, whatever. Right. It's um, like points. All right. Um, I'm, it's I'm just gonna rattle off. <laughs> I'm Point. gonna rattle off a couple. All right. Uh, displacement right. maps. Witcher doesn't use them. Now let's. Yeah, I don't think the Witcher what? uses them. Like I've for, never for noticed. For people, I have a friend who doesn't know what a displacement yeah. map. Yep. Is. Yep. And tell your friend to listen to the podcast. Yeah. And maybe tell a friend to read a, read a fucking book. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus. I'll, All right. D- and that d- book should be the wit- <laughs> one the Witcher <laughs> series. Point to the Witcher. <laughs> and Geralt pointed to the displacement map with his silver sword and struck it down forthwith. Um, so what what is a displacement map, sir? A, a displacement map is usually a, a texture, a black and white texture. Yep. And, and it's... Applied to geometry, and as in, in, in in real time, it should be able to t- displace it. You'll actually see it pull the ge- like add geometry to that surface it's been applied to, and actually pull out like change the silhouette of of that geometry. Okay, yeah. so and this is and different th- to to a, just a uh like a a, a, a change of the mesh in what way? Um, it's it's used in Grand Theft Auto on their trees, so you can actually see the bark. Like protruding out, or well, well, they use yeah, it in that, Crisis that, okay. where, where also, um, rocks are. Oh, this is uh, I, I I've heard another term. This may be the same thing. Tessellation. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 
Um, so tessellation is basically where it, 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 anal it, I think it basically looks at the texture and creates geometry out of the texture. Mm -hmm. okay. that, that would be a displacement. Uh, it right? also yeah. changes, like, the cool thing with that is that it also changes with, like, graphic settings. Yes. Yeah, you know? yeah. So you can have low and then you just don't see it. But this is, yeah. this is less a like, part of the um, technicality of the game and, and it has to do with how the graphics are rendered by the card, I thought. And you, I mean, you can you can support it through your game, but a big part of it is just the, the car. Like I know that um, different graphics cards render these these sure. displacement maps, I guess, in different ways. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, the way Grand Theft Auto does it is within a certain radius. Mm. You okay. know, th it, it will tessellate it. Right. Yeah. Um, parallax occlusion maps. That that's what's making the grass. Oh move. yeah, yeah. Fair enough. I mean, that is cool. Like I haven't seen that in anything else. Yeah. Um. Well, parallax occlusion map is what Unreal. Calls it the and, and I'm the is that okay. I suspect that's this like similar tech, yeah. Um, yeah, that, that shit's really cool. An like animations, F uh, physically <laughs> based animations, yeah, because which it doesn't have any animations, yeah. Well, it, dude, they're not freaking Ruby determined by physics, <laughs> like, uh, well, okay. Here's, okay. And here's, and here's what if I we're talking physics, let's, let me just mean, jump in here. What, mm -hmm. like euphoria, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, let me just jump in. It's, here. it's the one where you can Fair hit enough. a guy with your or car not. and have this person, ragdoll, yeah, ragdoll, like, dude, there's ragdoll and. In Witcher, yeah, but do they have like? I mean, it's not behavior okay, it's, on it, top of that. No, it's not. Um, okay, it's not using like a Euphoria style thing where like you hit a car and then that dude like will move. Well, you know, you'll bump into someone and then they'll like move with the way like, that that force was being applied to them mm -hmm. and then they like merge into their regular animation. Mm -hmm. Sure, that's not that they don't have that. Sure. Okay. Well, um, if we're I mean, they do have like you kill a guy, they ragdoll. But oh yeah, dude. Rag that's like, Ragdollin's like yeah. I mean, famous. that's like that's a video game. So yeah, yeah. I mean, Crisis. I think the original Crisis yeah. had Ragdolling. Anyway, but um, I mean, dude, not many people. No, I don't think many. Well, right, right. Nick's point. <laughs> not many games. <laughs> <So> like, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> not. No, I don't think that many games have that. Um, like yeah. I remember, Force You're Awakened was like big because it was one of the first ones to have that kind sure, of thing. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's still quite a rare thing, I think. Um, dude, it's very rare. Yeah. Uh, but it's also isolated to like times when they're, they they pick and choose where it's useful. Um, like you can be standing on a plane's wing as it's flying through the air. And yeah, it physics isn't. Um, it's just like oh, air resistance, nah. And then like that plane blows up and you're still standing on the wing as it's falling down. I, I think I know and then where it hits that. the ground and the guy is just like, yeah, I'm fine. Doesn't, you, it doesn't. There's no. There's is no that a point to the of force. GTA that you're yeah, making yeah, yeah. there? Like, yeah, yeah. you can just survive a plane crash. I've seen that GIF. Yep. yep. You, you, yeah. yep you know, I showed Severn a GIF of a guy falling off of a crashing plane, landing on the ground, <laughs> and like just, walk you, just walking away. <laughs> like, there's there's no transference of force, right. which is obviously a very complicated thing. Like, mm. sure, yeah. Um, I I think the reason that exists is because there was an issue where you'd stand on top of a car. Yeah. Or a pickup truck, and they would drive off, and your character would just slide off the top. Which should happen, right? Well, it, it looked very buggy. It didn't oh, look good. But, I mean, it, what should actually happen is, like, if the car pulls away, Losing their balance, you, you like, fall yeah, you backwards. Should, like, your, you should, your feet should be, like... Yeah, your, your feet should, you should... Yeah, like, that would be what... But here's the thing. You play, animation is. Dude, the thing is, Grand Theft Auto will probably achieve that before any other game. Oh, now you're saying, now you're behavior. like making future projections okay. on why it's good. Like, it's good go because in the dude, future, it, 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 it's going to be dude, amazing. Yeah, that thing lends itself to that thing. Like, you could, you could. Sure. Right? But I mean, if we're, do, it, it if we're saying sound... this, man, wait for The Witcher 4. It's going to have no. physics down. <laughs> you're both. Animation <laughs> everywhere. Like, what do you. Dude, I hope there are limitations to where physics are actually helpful to the game. And if you have a point where, like, if you're if you're doing physics. Like realistically, in a game, especially like GTA, mm -hmm. um, it ends up becoming more of a, an obstacle uh, to the actual gameplay. So, for example, if you're walking down the street and you bump into someone, your character takes just as much force as, as the person you just bumped into, right? And I, that disturbs the gameplay. I, I would say that adds to the immersion of that gameplay. Right, but then it's like, oh, I've walked off the curb wrong, so my guy fell over. Yeah, and that's fine too. Why you controlled that, your no, character no, 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 that no. way. You, it would become such a frustrating experience. You'd be fighting the physics more than you'd actually be playing the game. Uh, I think GTA 4 has more of that than 5 did. Yeah, probably. But that's what my point is, like, um, they're uh, picking and choosing where to use your physics, uh, while I brought it up as kind of a silly thing that, that GTA does, um, is ultimately helpful to the gameplay. But if you're talking just purely on the technicalities, uh, GTA's physics are great to a point and then absurd. <laughs> sure, yeah. And, and that would be one of the reasons why your car would flip over, you know, j j like that, that's completely unrealistic. But right. get, for gameplay reasons, it, yeah. it makes sense. Sure. Um, yeah, so animation physics, 
Dude, sure. I the mean, freaking that horse. I've seen some clips on YouTube, dude. That horse of, is of not the Witcher horse, the greatest, and yeah. it is just bucking everywhere. I have, yeah. I, up I, and down I mean, I, I saw like the the stuff you showed me, and like those look more like bugs than anything else. Like, mm. And I haven't come across anything like that. What okay. what I get um, is that the horse has a way of um, so the horse is supposed to be like alive, mm -hmm. like it has its own brain, mm -hmm. and if you run up to a cliff, it will stop, right? But which is fine. But the problem is that what it kind of regards as a cliff, it could be like a stone in the road, <laughs> yeah. you know, no, or, or, a, or, a, or, a, or a branch that's like fallen Oof. down. Mm -hmm. uh, so you get, you, if you're going through like the forest, it's, n it's better to go on foot because your horse will be like stopping every like few feet because it's like, whoa, yep. right. whoa, whoa. And, and that's a damn shame. To yeah. You. It's a, it's, it, that's really annoying. However, where it is great is when it's galloping along the road and mm -hmm. you have, okay, here's something. Mm -hmm. Boom. I think Red Dead's got this feature, but Karen, no, I don't think it does. Karen. I, I, it might. <laughs> I don't know. But we're not talking about Red Dead. <laughs> Point to Red Dead. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Point to Zelda 64. Kona. We love you. I yeah. think in the end, neither Witcher or GTA <laughs> will win. Yeah, it'll be like... Nintendo 64 is so far in the lead right now. Between Mario 64, Wave Race, and Zelda. Yeah, go for it, dude. Um, but yeah, it has this awesome like thing where uh, when you are on a road... Um, well, the horse can gallop, right? Mm. So you, you double click, uh, you double press um, A, and your horse does a gallop. Uh, if you if you um, like uh, steer your horse onto a road, mm -hmm. it will basically uh, at some point start following that road, and you mm. can just stop like controlling its direction, and it will just follow the road and weave and stuff like that. That's mm. cool. You so know. it's sort of like auto travel. Not yeah, it's like auto travel. Yeah, it's like auto travel. And the the cool thing is that like. Um, you can you because you can gallop like anywhere right mm. so you could be say you're in a field and you're like oh there's a road over there i'm going to gallop there you start galloping there and then like like i was just saying you get onto the road and it does like it like the 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 autopilot will then like take over yeah you know which is cool like you don't okay. have to like start already on the road does this you can just get to it and now is, is the reason they have this so that you can like shoot your crossbow while following a path I mean, you is, can. is that yeah you can because but it's it, also it sounds just, like it's taking control away is not, not it's because not, it's so it's not it, taking control away though it's, it's also it's, just it's, it's uh it's an ease of use thing right yeah mm. um, and the other part so question actually this raises is did you find it difficult to navigate the world as a result of this because there are some games where they like sh they'll paint the trail where you're meant to go yeah. and potentially even force you to run along or, or not force you but like guide the character along the trail like you yeah. it'll auto run you to right. to the destination okay. um, and then as soon as you turn that off you're like I don't know how to get back I don't know where oh I no am. it's it's fine I mean the you mean like getting lost well yeah so I mean part of like navigating the roads is you yeah. you end up learning the world and yeah. you end up noticing landmarks oh you, you mean uh, learning you, how to, to navigate and guide yourself so you mean like using uh google maps everywhere and never actually learning the, the route. well it's like if instead of using if you if sat you nav. if you had a if you had a sat nav but when you sat in the car you fell asleep and then you woke up at your destination yeah. you wouldn't know like the sat nav knows where it's yeah. going but then like oh oh my sat nav's broken shoot yeah. how do i get home no you you kind of don't because like you know where you're like you know where you're going you're always looking at your map for quests or whatever yeah you learn okay. landmarks like the witcher is full of like very obvious right. landmarks kind of thing that's good i mean it's not just a city right Every, everything everything doesn't everything <laughs> everything that isn't just like concrete and walls is Severn well, currently catching there's like shrines no. and <laughs> temples and like bridges right. and stuff and so you learn like this, this goes right into you, my next point yeah hold on you you totally you totally learn that when you're going along the road you're like all right i've passed this thing mm. i need to take the next next turn and then you'll because uh your horse like there's like a main sort of road like i think of it like a spline mm -hmm. you know so there's like a main spline that the that the horse will follow but um any like forks off the road you'd sometimes have to like make it go on to that mm -hmm. new like spline like that new yep. track kind of thing and then it will like autopilot again mm. but you do you know so you do learn where to go and stuff like that Th that's cool yeah um yeah that is cool and reader yeah. doesn't have that uh, i thought you're gonna bring up the auto galloping speed thing that you could hold a button for which oh, is no, it's, yeah no okay yeah. um shaders outside right. of textures okay now ryan was talking about this mm. like a car shader ryan is a programmer ryan is a programmer yep. at granager and um 
see here with sand. Yep. The, the materials look fantastic. And it opens it up to... In, in The Witcher, I think a lot of their materials would be just basically large textures. Yeah, I think they are too. Right. Like, I don't like the bulk see... of them apart from water is probably... Yeah, I, I don't... Like, that's that's kind of the point I was trying to make when we started this, was that they're not doing anything particularly new. Mm. They're just doing things better than previous. Yeah. Mm. Taking advantage of the technology. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's nothing... Had. I, I, like... I played, you know... Um, like Dragon Age One or something, and it's basically doing the same thing with the you know a color map, a spec map, a normal map, and okay. it's basically doing that except you know it's ten years later and you can have bigger maps, bigger you know whatever. Yeah. Well, w- one cool thing that Grand Theft Auto does, like with its car shaders, mm. is that at any given part in the city, it's going to render a little reflection map right. for that part of the city. This this is what adds to your car looking correct in that environment. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll actually do that in real time. And it just makes it look more fitting in that area. A- and it's dynamic. Yeah. You know? it, it changes. But that is something that they would have to do because so much of that game is around cars. Mm-hmm. Like, there's not really that many like opportunities for reflection. With armor or anything like that? Uh, this world is quite grungy. It, it helps with water. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just anything metal. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Or... or Highly specular. Yeah. Um, uh, blending normal maps. Oh, yeah. Okay. Dude. Man, you were... so good. Oh, God. I remember when, before GTA was out, you had trailers on bloody... You downloaded them on QuickTime so you could, like, scrub through them. And you were going mm. through, like, frame by frame going, look at that. Look at that normal map. Look at it. Look at it. It's changing. Oh, did you see that? That's amazing. <laughs> and the give, Witcher give me an example that. of a normal changing... A changing normal map. Or a normal changing map. <laughs> Either one. Uh... uh Games that um, use this technology really well are FIFA games, and so it'll ha- it'll be on top of um, their clothes. Yeah, and it'll be a normal map. A normal map is just basically the the, the texture, right, like with the colors and the. Yeah, it actually yeah. like it's, well, with, it's without the depth. Correct? Well, it, it, yeah, it's like a. It will tell fakes, the light to go depth. around. It yeah. fakes the lighting, so it yeah. okay. looks like it's shaded a certain way. Right, 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 right. right. Um, so FIFA games have this where their their clothes will be weighted one way say to the left and when they turn right it then would change from this one normal map to the right right yeah and it will blend between the two and it actually makes them look as if the the more real. material itself yeah is moving yeah. when when it's just the same geometry mm. and it's just mm. a, a texture yeah. swap because i mean the alternative is to have fully dynamic clothing which is which not is not a viable yeah. option maybe in 50 years yeah you think 50 years yeah, <laughs> 50, know, years. 50 years 50 years <laughs> 50 years. Um, I think it'll months. probably come. I'm going to say two months. <laughs> what, for fully dynamic, like, clothes? It's like, dude. Not 50 years. Are you kidding when me? When do you reckon? Well, well wasn't, wasn't like... Okay, maybe 50 years is a little greater. But wasn't the Force ten... Unleashed experimenting with clo- like material physics, like cloth physics and stuff? thing is, oh. you know, Rockstar Table Tennis had fully dynamic tops and really? t-shirts, yeah, on, on their characters. Uh, it looked pretty good. GTA doesn't... It was a little too smooth. Point to Rockstar <laughs> Table Tennis. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, lods, level of detail. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, fair enough. And, and this is cool. This is why open world games are so awesome to yeah, look at. Yeah. Um. The the reason why you use level of detail models is yeah. is so you can stream content. You could put more stuff on screen. Yep. Yeah. yep. And The Witcher does this, and yeah. I think more more studios should do it. Well, I think every like every game, pretty does much every it open world like, game does it dude, at this point. Yeah. I think I think Resident Evil doesn't do it. I mean, um, like. Uh, Wait, Resident Evil? Yeah. What, one? No, the, well, the reason... They just have these really awesome character models in, in, yeah. in those kinds of games. And it just means, like, you can only draw five people on the screen at any given time. Okay. It, it sucks. Which Resident Evil are you talking about? I don't, I don't know. know which one, one you're talking them. about. It, it, pick, pick a Resident Evil <laughs> game. They're one. All, they're all, they're all kind of like that. I don't think one could make their models any lower, though. Oh, <laughs> like, well, they don't use lods. <laughs> it is my point. And the use of LODs is actually very beneficial in yeah, that way. Sure, right? To yeah. just substitute a model out yeah. when it's in the Did so we explain what LOD stands got, for? A Le- level of level detail, detail, right? Yeah. And it's basically where you've got like a low poly character, a medium mm. poly character, a high poly character with like yeah. high detail resolutions. Yeah. And uh, if, we, if we're using like a common example, uh, Skyrim and Oblivion both use this yep. um, with like their world terrain where uh, a mountain will look mm. great from a distance 
um, but we'll actually be using kind of low res, res textures and, and very low polys. And as you get closer, mm -hmm. it's higher poly and higher. Mm -hmm. And if you look well enough, you can actually see some games. Yeah, there um, are divisions. You can even yeah, see line, the line. Some games either see the uh, like it'll snap in, yeah, and you can stand there moving back and forth and watch yeah. it. Or it does a fade, which seems more common now for games I to think just do a fade. Rage is a good example of one where if you turn your camera quickly, you yeah. can see the level of detail yeah. change. Oh, wait, that, that was the whole textual thing. Wasn't that a whole other thing? Oh, that, was, that was the way they were doing the mega, mega textures. textures. Oh, Sorry. They, they, I think did, I, they did a few things, I think. Yeah, Rage, Rage but I mean, it, it was a problem. I remember them saying that when you turned too quickly, you would actually see all the level of details like, yeah, come in. Would, oh, but would. I don't think it was actually LODs. It was just textures. Well, yeah, but I but mean, it was it was going from low detail. low res textures to high res. No, textures. it just didn't have them like. Wasn't that the thing? It was just having to put these textures like to ra load them into RAM or something. Dude, you have to talk to John Carmack. Right. I have no idea what well, he was. Gonna get Next John week we'll get John, John Carmack. Going. <laughs> he was like, you hear him talk about stuff and where he, what he's getting to render things, and it's just he's using every part. He's he's using every part of the machine to render things that it shouldn't so i don't but i, I have no what, idea dude i played that game recently and it yep. didn't have that problem well that's probably because like it's what eight years the, old now yeah the hardware is so <laughs> yeah. much better that we can just bring force it yeah. 2012 um is it yeah oh man so the the lod is most yep. apparent yep. When, when you when you go through a lot of content really quickly yep and so in the witcher it would you, your highest speed is probably determined by a boat or a horse Whatever yeah. you can travel in the yep. fastest. Yep. There's probably, what, the horse? Yeah, probably. And so for CD Projekt to make that game look decent is to, to make everything pop in and stream content mm. at the speed of the horse. That's, yeah. that's your goal. Which uh, is yeah. not, you, you don't need it to be any faster. Yeah. The standard variable of speed of horse. <laughs> yeah, Like one yep. horsepower. You, you, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, look, yep, yep. The Witcher, you're dealing with one horsepower. Oh, hang on. I mean, in, whoa, in, whoa, in whoa. GTA, happens, you're dealing with multiple horsepower. When there's another horse running towards you while you're on a horse. Oh, that that's sounds like a That's two horsepower combined, right? You have to then render. No, yeah, no you when you're to, running towards you. Yeah, if you're on a horse and, no. and you're running towards another character on a horse. Yeah. The, that's two horsepower combined. And so you have to render that horse coming at you at two horsepower, right? Sure. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah. This is that old math I mean, question. There's two trains. And <laughs> two horses yeah. leave the station yeah, exactly. at <laughs> 2 a.m. Yeah. traveling one horsepower yeah, each. I mean, if you think about it, that's, that's the speed they have to change the rendering at, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. But, but also... I get you. Yeah. I thought you were making a goof, but actually, yeah. No, I, was, get you. That's, I was not making... It was yeah. a goofy way of putting it. It was a goofy way of putting it. But it was, it, it's yeah. accurate. Yeah, it is. So, so Grand Theft Auto has things faster than a horse. Two planes. That's, planes. The, that's the rate yeah, at which... I, know. I mean, this... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it does. And, and, and so... And, and dude, you, so with that technology, that, mm. that leads into that switching characters at will. Yeah, like they've, they've had to... I mean, they've, they've had to, like, optimize their LODs to facilitate moving at, like, you know, 120 kilometers an hour or whatever. That's, yeah. um, I think it's 12 horsepower. 12 yeah. so we can actually say from from these numbers yeah six times better we can determine that Grand Theft Auto is 12 <laughs> times better six times better yeah oh six times well because two horsepower remember oh shit we've established it's I thought it was one <laughs> to the power of two horsepower one to the power of two I don't know I'm just, just one times one. two one times one is one damn it <laughs> um alright last point online yeah got online but yeah i mean oh, like is, is is that what was your point for that exactly oh, like i'm not even the, like you just said i think his point is that uh, they can stream it's, content it's, things, it's able to to, yeah. to stream between the low and high res that's sure but like why would cg project red like Need take anything? the time to allow things to okay. render in as fast as gta when it doesn't need to at all because you're only going like one yeah well it, one allows, for interesting, uh, it, it allows for interesting gameplay but well, how? Like you don't get a jet. You're not gonna like yeah. fly across well, the world. You, you you can you play as Siri and that Gerald guy. Gerald, yeah. Ger <laughs> Gerald. Oh. Gerald. And, and oh. Gerald, oh, Gerald. Mr. Gerald Witcher. <laughs> yeah. But wouldn't you like to be able to switch between them at will? Like that's the not story? the game. You're. you're I, I know that's you're not saying, the game that they that's made. That's not the game. You're saying, you're okay. You're like those three characters were design decision, right? Mm. The Witcher. You're playing Geralt. Like this is the core game. I I know, but don't don't you think if CD Projekt had those tools that they would use them? That because well, it no, makes because that's not the story they want to tell. Like well, this but is also like you wouldn't even need to use that. Hang on, hang if on. They had if they hang had on. It. Why why doesn't uh, GTA have much better, 
more complex melee combat. Because they didn't need it. That's the answer. Ultimately, it like what what Blake is saying is is correct. Like they don't have this crazy streaming technology hmm. because at no point in the story they wanted to tell did it call for it. Okay. However, they have amazing horse stuff going on because there's a horse. In, 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 in the lore. They do have amazing horse stuff going <laughs> in, on. In the Gerald law. Yeah. Gerald law. Gerald. 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 Does, does he ever fly? Does he ever <laughs> jump on a phoenix or anything? Does he ever, like, tame a... <laughs> do, do you get where, where I'm coming? I, you're saying... Does he fly a dragon? Does he ever unlock a dragon mount? Is he the Khaleesi? No. No? No, I don't think he does. Like, are there no flying them. monsters in, okay. well, in the Well, yeah, but he doesn't hop on them. He kills them. He's a monster slayer. But wouldn't but, it be fun to, like, domesticate a monster? <laughs> that's not the game. That's you're not, describing like, arc. the world they're living in. <laughs> People aren't flying... Like, you're thinking of a Lord, like a Lord of the Rings yeah. fantasy world where people are just riding on giant eagles. Mm. That's not The Witcher. Okay. That's, well, I, that, I, that see where you, I see what Severn's point is. But I don't think it. I, I now. I, I think the GTA's um, like like detail scaling is is really impressive, but it's not really relevant to the. Witcher. So um, wait, okay. They they have they use lords. Yeah, yeah. but they, they, they stream content. If, yes. if they're if they're wouldn't if you want to do it faster? Better? Yeah, <laughs> well, but you don't need to. Like you don't need. They don't. It's they're not going to spend development time creating something that they yeah. don't need. It's it's how come our game doesn't it. stream content at the speed of um I'm sure they'd love to. because we only see like a small box because of the camera angle. We're not we don't need to do that. Right. Th- that's a whole other thing. We we're, 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 we're the course, same thing. We're of course not an open world game. <laughs> But, it, but it, well, you can put lords in any game. Like it doesn't matter. It just has to be a big world. It doesn't have to be an open world oh game. Boy. You can have a oh big boy. area that you can fly through really fast. I, dude, I actually and think, still need that same tech. From, I think lords would actually work well in in I'm sorry, gonna, Path I'm gonna jump in here because it's just getting to you guys are just yeah, arguing the thing here. Is, we, oh we, my god! Here, <laughs> shut up, Blake. We don't need like the <laughs> reason we don't need lords is because you when you don't see. I mean, you know this when you don't see All right. something on camera, it's not being. All right, let, let me let me debunk what no, Blake's saying real no, quick. No, no, because is, dude, if you is, have something casting, if you have something in the distance casting a shadow. Into what's being rendered okay, on enough. on screen, yep. you jerk. Okay, <laughs> that, that is yep. one reason why you'd want to yep. do it. Okay. Um, Fine. You just have a shadow mesh. You don't have to worry about. It. You just have a low poly shadow mesh. So yeah, anyway, and then you the don't question have to worry is, about it. It, the the speed here is irrelevant. Also, no, and as Severn, I know you want to say it differently, but you're wrong. The speed here is irrelevant. <laughs> okay, because uh, the Witcher does not call for fat. Well, the, the what is the question here is: Does the Witcher do it well? Mm. Is, uh, is they the, do it is, well enough? Is the transition of between levels of detail? Yeah, it's is it fine. smooth? Is you it don't, is it is it clunky? Is it noticeable? It, it's. It, I don't think I've ever really noticed. Like then that's all that matters. I've, unless I've like fully looked for it. Right now, I've I've played GTA and I've had like stuff pop in. But uh, they do a great job. Mm. But the, but again, like, the speed that you're going, yes, like uh, you uh, kind of would expect yes, there to I be would. at least some pop and not yeah. depending uh, on especially like your pe- like the actual street inhabitants. Um, yeah, there's like definite pop in, but uh, they do a good job. But like at this point, I feel like this is a tie because they both uh, serve their purposes well. Mm. Well, um, my my point is just to say th- they both use it. Grand Theft Auto is better. <laughs> and I'm saying wrong, irrelevant. <laughs> okay. So here, um, okay. Yeah, so right. Nick, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> so their their next game, right? Um, uh, Cyberpunk. Mm-hmm. That's set in a much more Grand Theft Auto. Wait, what? Right, <laughs> Cyberpunk. Okay. Yeah, it's CD Projekt Red. CD Projekt Red's oh, next okay. game, right? I mean, we know nothing okay, about I thought it. This was really, a Rockstar game. Cyberpunk. Like, no, no. We, we know nothing about it, but um, it's you know, it's set in a cyber neo Tokyo. Turns out it's it's type. high fantasy. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's just a reskin <laughs> of The Witcher, oh, dude. This, with There's, no flying um, in it, <laughs> and garbage water, yeah, <laughs> and a Damn freaking it. metal horse, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. You're riding a metal horse. <laughs> Your name is actually Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> and Gerald, no, which are, hair. yeah, which are. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, okay. A side note. Uh, I was playing The Witcher, and um, there's an Easter egg for Cyberpunk in it. Okay, like Siri newspaper. <laughs> yeah, this is newspaper. <laughs> it was the few, it was the modern age is, all along. Is the um, is the Easter egg that you go. Siri, where's the closest restaurant? And he goes, I don't understand the question. Is it? Is that the? Is it? No, no, okay. no. The 
No. It you, yeah. It doesn't matter now. But <laughs> anyway, there's a <laughs> that there's, was actually better than my story. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is actually better. <laughs> but no, there's a there's a um there's a part in it because she's been traveling from world to world. There's a part sure. where she basically describes a world that sounds a little bit like cyberpunk. She says like oh. there was a there, she went to a place where people had metal in their heads and there was like um, flying machines and people wage war from a distance. And I was like, well, that sounds like like metal in the heads, like implants and you know. Yeah, or that could just be someone cool. who's been shot in the, the head. skull and yeah. Had a, had a but I mean, it's vague enough. But because I because we know that oh, yeah, cyberpunk yeah. is their next game, you're like, oh, I wonder if that's a yeah, probably is. Him. Yeah, that's cool. Um, but yeah, like cyberpunk, it's set probably going to be set in a GTA type like, yeah. city. We're going to see cars, right? You're going to see cars. That game is going to call for better, you know. Lod streaming. Oh my god, we're still talking about right. lods. If yeah. This was done. Let <laughs> the sleeping dogs lie. <laughs> but I'm saying, okay, if if no, that's the game. You should, that's the game you Dude, need to I'm compare. Hopeful. I I right. hope I hope we see some yeah. oh improvements, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Moving I, and on. I'd like to see it. All right, what, Moving any, on. Any more points? No, no, that's any it. more points? All right. That's I'm all calling good. the winner. Nintendo 64 wins. Yeah, I think I think Nintendo 64 did win. But dude, like, um, it's it's unfair comparing these two companies. Then why did you bring it up? <laughs> like this was because, your points. <laughs> because, dude, I thought it would be a case of me making that, that a, a statement like yeah, that, yeah, and then like to be like, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, and just being like, yeah, you're right. Yes. You know what? You're right. You asshole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you're All right. right. We're moving on to a completely new topic. Um, I, I, I think it's probably not fair to call a winner here. Um, they're two different games. The, the fact that they're open world is the only like yeah, that's similar the thing. fact. They are, they are two different games. But yeah, anyway, about those lords that we were like. If, <laughs> if, if nothing else, it's interesting to see that two like functionally similar genre open world sort of um, choose your own adventures and to some extent uh, you require such different tech. And I think that's an interesting hmm. thought to leave on. Let's move on to this next line, which I'm really curious about. What the hell? Blake is Mugen gambling. Mu- I, I know what Mugen is. Mugen. Mugen. Is, it, Mugen. is it pronounced Mugen? I've always okay. pronounced always it Mugen. Mugen. It, it's M-U-G-E-N. I'm not actually sure what it stands for. It's like mm, something like, I don't know, multi-user <laughs> generated engine. Some, I don't know. It's, Probably something like that. It's, it's, it's a fighting game engine, very flexible, mm. user generated content. Uh, that's probably what the UG stands for. Um, yeah. Um, so I, um, I was hanging out playing... Uh, Actually, I was. I, well, this is a okay, backstory. I, I was playing um, Vermintide with my friends, which I kind of also want to talk about that? at some point. It's a Warhammer. Um, it's it's like the Warhammer Left the Dead combo with loot. Which I, <laughs> just that silence. <laughs> yeah. That so hang. anyway, I was playing that, and then I was like, "All right, I'm done playing this." Yeah. And then um, we were hanging out on Skype for a little while, um, and then I looking through Twitch. Right. I found Mujin. I was like, what the hell? People are streaming Mujin? Like, yeah. What the hell is this? Yeah. And, th- and it had like 500 viewers. Now, can I guess what this is? Yeah. Okay. So I, I think I may have stumbled across the same thing yeah. a couple years ago. Um, it's basically they've got uh, AI randomly selecting two characters and then AI having those two characters fight. Yeah. And then people placed bets yes. as to who was going to win. Yes. And, and you, there's like a leaderboard. Yep. And you start off with a certain number of credits. Yep. And you, I think you can generate credits once you once you like run out. You. After uh, you if you no, well, uh, I don't know. Uh, you okay? So you can, um, yeah. When you make an account, you get like four hundred credits. Yeah. Because I I think I I placed some bets and started gaining some yeah, credits, right. and I was like, you know what? I'm never gonna make the ten billion that the top guy has. Yeah, dude, because people <laughs> people are betting like millions. That's how I found it. I was just looking at it in in um in Twitch. Yeah. And then in the side it was like people placing bets. Yep. And I was like, what the hell is this real money or something? And I ended up finding their like you website. Find the site. Yep. Yeah, and it was just like, you know, this fun bucks basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um yeah, people like you you start off and you get like when you sign up, I signed up and you get like four hundred credits yep. and you know, you place your bet on who you think is going to win, and then whoever, like the the odds are then yeah. uh, determined by who you know who has betted on what. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. two to one or whatever. Yeah, they've, they've got some and, way working. And then out. your payout, you know, um, is affected by that. Right, right. Um, and I was like, this is stupid. It's just like fun bucks. Who cares about this? Like, it's, and it's then, dumb. <laughs> and then two hours later, 
I was like, I, it's like 1 a.m. Uh-huh. And you're like, <laughs> I'm on a thousand now. Yeah, I was like, I got, <laughs> actually, I was, because I started off just making little bits. Yeah. Like, oh, five bucks. You started doubling it? Yeah, I started doubling it and then doubling <laughs> it. I ended up, I ended up with like over a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> And then I made some foolish bets and ended up with like 460. Yeah. And then I was like, well, I'm, I'm going to call it a day. Yep. So I closed, I closed, uh, I, I stopped betting. Yep. But then I ended up just watching the fights. Well, for like another half hour yeah. because it's crazy. Like Mujin, you can just have anything versus anything. Yep. You can have Barney the Dinosaur versus the Red Power Ranger yep. and people are betting on. Is, on who's better. It's crazy. Is Omega Tom Hanks ever a character? I haven't seen that. Okay. Because that's my favorite. Yeah. But everyone, okay, everyone, this is the gateway to gambling. Everyone go to saltybet.com. Uh, that's what it is, salty bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah saltybet.com. Yeah. Make an account. You get like 400 fun bucks and just start betting. It's so much fun. <laughs> it's so much fun. Yeah. And you can, uh, well, I, I guess the way that um, they get around the whole like, because gambling can be illegal and stuff right. in, in certain well, places. Well, it's, it's not real money. Though, I mean, so yeah, it's... it's not real money and you can never actually cash out. Right. Like, there's it's just, you, you can, though, buy. Fun bucks. bucks. Okay. With yeah, yeah, real yeah, money. That sounds familiar. Yeah. So if you do, and you can um, buy a subscription that gives you a certain amount of right. of uh, fun fun money uh, per month. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the thing is, like, the only bummer is like, there's nothing really to do with it except keep yeah. betting. It's just this leaderboard. Yeah. Which, which theoretically you could buy your way to the top of. Yeah. Which I guess is like kind of cool, but at some point you're like, well, I've got like a billion of 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 these dollars. Like what can I actually do? And you can't. You, you no. Can, you can. You can. Nothing. Yeah. You can't really do anything. Um. It, but it's it, fun. Like I got weirdly hooked into it. Yep. I was doing it for two and a half hours. <laughs> this is crazy. It reminds me of. Uh. We used to do a drinking game. Yeah. And if you're under eighteen or twenty one in the states, um, turn off the podcast. No, it's fine. <laughs> no. Um. Uh. We used to, uh, put on like Smash Brothers Melee, mm-hmm. and we'd have like. Uh, four man AI fights. Oh, cool! And we, yeah. we need to choose a character, and yeah. every time that character like lost a stock or whatever, you oh, have to man. drink. Um, that was always pretty fun. The um, yeah, it took it actually took me a while to figure out if they were AI or not, because because <laughs> dude, they seem like there's intelligence. It or maybe I'm just like projecting it onto them. Yep, but, that sounds more. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, like, I watched this fight. Like, I remember it. It was Wolverine versus some anime girl. And I was like, oh, I'll fucking bet on Wolverine, man. Yeah. I'm not betting on some nameless anime girl. Yeah. Um, it's always the nameless anime girls that are the super broken, powerful ones. Broke yeah, up so I've some, learned. <laughs> some fundamentalist, like, oh, this is my favorite anime, and this is my favorite character, yeah. and I'm so obsessed with it. I'm going to spend the next 12 months making her perfect. Yeah. And that, that's, that, I think that's, <laughs> that was a, it was a weird fight because, like, he's a people bet on this anime girl, and it was like the hugest odds. So I was in for a huge huge payout if yeah. i won and i was like why is everyone betting on this anime girl that's stupid and for like it's best of five yeah two fights wolverine won hands down yeah next three this this anime girl just like destroyed yeah. him and like so the ai was basically smart enough to i and wolverine like those two fights he had won he just wiped the floor with her she, yeah it was like she was just letting him win yeah for these first two fights and then completely destroyed him Huh. And I was like, that, match fixing. Yeah, well, maybe. Mm, but it's like that's an AI doing that. That seems AI match. I mean, fixing. that's not impossible. But like for yeah. for just some Mujin thing, yeah. like that's a lot of effort to put into. It's a, interesting. I don't. Yeah, I'd be curious into to an see, AI. Like, because we do, we have some AI on our game, right? And, yeah. Um, it's not like the most complicated thing in the world. It's um, I'm not going to go into it because I don't actually think we should talk about it. But um, I would be curious to see how, like their AI is done because it, yeah. it's I can't imagine it, I, that it would be anywhere near as simplistic as ours it probably needs to be quite a lot more complicated yeah yeah um, yeah no I'd be very curious to see yeah how, it was how, that, that's of course why it's I also like, it's all like open source right so you could you, yeah. you could probably pretty easily find out probably yeah, yeah. I mean yeah I mean yeah <laughs> <laughs> whatever yeah anyway great thing everyone, do, you, do you mean yeah everyone get on to uh, <laughs> Salty Bear <laughs> Start your gambling Dude. addiction, and then you can move on to real money. Salty bet sounds like something dirty. Um, anyway, let's move on. Uh, what have you guys been playing? Because we, we've got... So I'm anything? playing The Witcher. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to talk about The Witcher? Dude, now back to these... Lo- <laughs> no, yeah. Dude, so the Lord's and The Witcher. No. no, dude, I've actually been playing uh, Inside. We finished that last week. Inside. Inside is Playdead's new game. They made Limbo. Oh, oh and, uh, yeah, yeah, I've heard good things. 
Yep. What are their lods like? Oh, fantastic. Nice. Dude, I didn't realize how freaking awesome that game yeah, was until really I cool, saw man. that fr- um, that tech demo. It's made oh, in right. Unity, by the way. But they do some really awesome... Uh, li- <laughs> yeah, dude, Unity. That just blew my mind. <laughs> I didn't know it was made in Unity. That's yeah. crazy. Uh, their physics animations are on point. Yep. And they have um, really cool lighting effects. Yeah. N- n- nothing too crazy. But Everything mm-hmm. I've heard about the game is cool. It, it really... Sh- th- this one video, it really showed you how much work goes into such a simplistic game like that. Mm. Uh, I'm going to... I want to also just... Because I know we had, we had some comments mm. about... Um, I didn't talk about Hearthstone last uh, week. Or Clash Royale, really. Oh, no, did I, I think no I, one cares about Clash Royale. Whatever, Pe- man. The, the people want to hear you talk about Hearthstone. <laughs> people demand it. Well, last night, yeah, they asked a new uh, solo adventure. Oh, did they? I didn't even know. Yep. Uh, it's called A Night in Karazhan. Oh, cool. Yep. So it takes place in Karazhan, which is the, like... If you played like the Burning Crusade, it was like the ten man mm-hmm. dungeon that everyone loved. Uh, Karazhan, because you saw the Warcraft movie, movie mm-hmm. that's Medivh's Tower. That's where Medivh oh, lives. Oh right, right, with yeah. the pool in the middle. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so uh, this is another solo adventure. It's, uh, I don't know. I I didn't actually get to see the stream, but um, I did see some of the cards. Uh, some interesting stuff coming. Um, I'm excited. I'm gonna probably get it. it. Comes out in two weeks. Any so, uh, any game changing stuff? Um, Meta changing. It's tough to say. So one thing I uh, I knew they were going to do another solo adventure just because like they have a pattern of like expansion solo adventure expansion solo adventure right. Um, and I I I had said a, a few weeks ago to someone I, it's probably going to be magic themed. My guess had been Dalaran, okay, because that's like the magic city, and my mm. other guess had been Tolbarad because it's like the magic prison. But they went with yeah. uh, cars on the magic tower. <laughs> So I wasn't wasn't too far off, mm. um, and my the reason I guess this is because it, in the current meta, we're now we're getting into the nitty gritty of game balance here. Um, it, it, in the current like lineup of cards, there are fewer spells uh, relative to creatures than there have ever been, um, and they I, they just need to like add more spells to the game. Cool. Um, it, because the more creatures you add, and the less spells there are, the it, the more zoo focused, like the more Mm. creature heavy the decks become um, and uh, it's interesting because that game does not have a lot of room for spell mechanics the way so magic has lots of like room for spell mechanics because there's like things you can manipulate your graveyard you can manip- manipulate your deck you can manipulate mm. your hand you can ma- manipulate your opponent's hand graveyard and deck etc um, as well as doing stuff to creatures but like in hearthstone you can't you, there's no real graveyard to see although it exists somewhere yeah it, it can track cards is there anything that actually does pull out anything from there's one card that revives cthune from your graveyard oh, okay that, that's, that's the though. only yeah. thing i think currently um there's very little deck manipulation um yep. uh, and you you literally cannot touch your opponent's uh you can't remove cards from your opponent's hand or deck or graveyard. The um, you can like add cards to your opponent's hand. Yeah, the closest thing I've seen to any sort of deck manipulation is forcing your opponent to to draw, draw cards, and yeah. then they draw too many cards, and they just start losing. Yeah, you cards. can you can force them to draw. You can also add cards to their hand, like spare parts and bananas. And, oh right, and that yeah. can force them to overdraw and lose cards in their deck. Mm. So you, there's the the closest thing you can do is like force them to have less valuable cards than the cards they can draw. Mm. Anyway, so um, it's it's interesting to see they they revealed revealed a few spells like for example there's one that costs it's a mage spell it costs seven and it deals five damage and summons a random five cost minion which okay. is like kind of a hybridization of a fireball and a different creature which costs five hmm. and summons a three cost minion as well as the creature itself so um, they're at this point kind of just going here's two mechanics we can put together. That I haven't really seen much else. I'll, it's curi- I'm curious to see what they'll do. They have also talked about in the past that there's the potential for legendary spells. Oh, damn. And that this would be feels cool. like a good opportunity to introduce one. Yeah. But um, they haven't really discussed anything like that. What would a legendary spell be? Well, that's a good question. Uh, the, a bigger I mean, fireball. Well, so it's tough. It, it, things like fetching a card out would be a, uh, and, and doing an effect as you're fetching a card out would be an example of legendary spell. There are some things they've got some in Magic. They're called tutors because um, Dark Tutor f- would fetch mm. a card out from your deck. But um, they've got card. There's one card 
uh, they showed off that would fetch a murloc, a dragon, and a beast from your oh. deck and put it in your hand. Okay. So you could get three cards for one. And you can like very carefully say, I want only one murloc, only one beast, and only one dragon in my deck. So when I get this card, I don't know exactly what yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, you can guarantee you'll get those. Right. Um, and so they're they're actually kind of veering more towards the magic style of like tutoring and and, and deck streamlining, mm. um, but it it's not that one's not on a spell, which I think is interesting. Mm. It's on a creature. Anyway, so uh, I'll probably be talking more about uh, well, Hearthstone know, in a couple yeah. of weeks when uh, when this is out. I'm assuming they'll do the same thing where they release one like wing a week, and then so I'll, I'll have a month of Hearthstone. Uh. Woo! <laughs> um, outside of that, I haven't been playing a whole lot. I've been a little bit burnt out on Hearthstone. Pokemon Go? Pa- yeah, between Clash Royale and Pokemon Go and, yep. and Overwatch. I got Overwatch. I think I mentioned that. What's your what's your best Pokemon? <laughs> My As in CP or yep. as in like... This, oh, cool actually factor. both. Actually both. Rarest. And what's your strongest and what's your rarest? Strongest is a Vaporeon. Yep. Um, by the way, they need... Oh, I wanted to talk about this as well. Let's talk Pokemon Go gym battles real quick. Yep. Um, have you guys tried any gym battles yet? Uh, no. No? Yeah, I was chipping away. Um, oh yeah, over breakfast. Your uh, your red gym. Yeah, over, yeah. yeah, over breakfast. So, um, anyone who's who's like deep into Pokemon Go at the moment, I, I'm not super deep into it. Like, there, <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing, man? Who? Third. There's like people who are like level 25 upwards, like George, for example, is like yeah. real deep into. Yeah, it. he's he's deep. Um, and I'm I would say I'm I'm deeper than you guys, but like, I think you are. Um, you stop me every time we walk past each other at work and show me your Pokemon. Yeah. Because, you know, I like to crush you. <laughs> and, just, and then I just say, <laughs> what about that tentacruel? Oh, you that son of a I bitch. I caught. And you, you <laughs> yeah. There was a tentacruel and he ran away from me. And, yeah, and, and I caught him right in front of you. It made me sad. Wait, are you he, still cho- pl- he chose me. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Are you still playing it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> what level? Uh, 15. Okay. Jeez. 15. That's impressive. Um, I'm, but but you, uh, gym, gyms, yeah. So see, yeah. Basically, when the way it works is you can you get close to a gym and you can like, f- if it's your own color, you can train a Pokemon up at it. I think mm. and it, like ups yeah, the I'm prestige. Sh- yeah, something and, like and that. And let's potentially lets you put like, add another Pokemon to that gym. Mm. It makes it harder to capture by another team. Um, you still it, fight the person that's at the gym though. Yeah, but I don't think they get penalized. Yeah, you yeah, just you get. you get experience. The gym gets prestige. That's and, cool. Yeah, it, there's no downside mm. to doing it. Whereas like. Um, I think you, you then do you then get a chance to put a Pokemon in the gym. I think you, every yeah at certain levels of prestige the gym levels up and adds a new slot for uh, a Pokemon. Okay, yeah, sweet. Um, but if you're like fighting an opponent's gym, you, you're lowering the prestige and, yeah. and removing the Pokemon slots. Yeah. Um, but I don't think anybody at Niantic has like taken a look at Pokemon combat balance at all because uh, right now combat is like if you tap you do an attack and the attack animation sort of determines the rate at which you're doing these attacks and the attack animations are hugely variable between pokemon so uh i have a ride on which is like a big horned gray thing do you ride on uh, you... <laughs> i'm just gonna let that hang <laughs> um <laughs> It's fine. Uh, uh, I, not as far as I know. <laughs> um, it's uh, I, I tried using that at a gym. It's, it wasn't like super high CP, but it was like seven hundred or something, so it wasn't mm. terrible. Uh, but the attack animation, like I would, I would tap, and it would take about two or three seconds for the actual right. animation to finish um, before I could do another attack. Hmm. Um, whereas like Vaporeon, which is my highest CP Pokemon. Yep. Attack animation is like half a second, and so I can do like six attacks in the same time mm. that it takes my ride on to do one attack. So ultimately, like the power of the attack becomes less relevant than like the, sh- the length of the attack animation. Um, so it's just it's a bit silly because like yeah. there's probably some low level or some some like low evolution Pokemon that has like a rapid attack animation that's ultimately like the most OP thing if you can get a good CP and you can get a good move with it. It's a Weedle. Yeah, there's probably something dumb yeah, like that. Yeah, it's probably something. Um, <laughs> wait, something do, do um the CP determine animation speed or No, CP is just combat power, which I think is just it's it's all kind of hidden behind point. the scenes, but it's it's a combination of hit points, defense and attack. Yeah. But their animation speeds are, are I think as hit. far as I can tell their animation speeds seem to be fixed. Yeah. So they seem to be so it's really a bit stupid, um, and especially I mean, with a ride on. 
Well, yeah, well, like, maybe it's just, just the, the vast difference. Uh, was, this is just the, like the, the example I found was like mm-hmm. Rhydon was so slow and Vaporeon was so fast. Mm-hmm. It also explains why there's Vaporeons at all these gyms because yeah, they're yeah. so effective. If if you've got like a, a reasonably strong one, it just outpaces almost any other Pokemon. Mm. Um, I've noticed, um, what are they called? Dragonites? The big dopey dragon looking Yeah, this, they've started <laughs> sprung. Yeah, yeah, they started sprung up on well. I'm they probably have see. short animations as yeah. well. Um, uh, Wigglytuff. Uh, yeah. Also has a pretty short animation. I haven't seen a Wigglytuff. Well, at all. Yeah. I happen to have one. Are you going to show me your Wigglytuff? <laughs> Maybe later. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll show you my Weedle. <laughs> um, what? Are we talking about Pokemon? Uh, I, so I, anyway, I, what? My, my highest CPU is, is Vaporeon. Don't show anyone your Weedle. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to see that. <laughs> no, thanks. Put your Weedle away. <laughs> oh, is that a Kakuna? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anyway, uh, my high CP is is Vaporeon, and oh, yeah. my probably my most interesting one is is my uh, Porygon, yeah. of which I, I I found one like a long time ago, and I didn't know where I found it, and the map wouldn't show me where I found it. Yeah, the map <laughs> seems to be broken for like the <laughs> yeah. last two weeks. And then um, it's probably just a huge like tax on their server every time yeah. someone loads up that page. It has to. You'd think it would just basically take a snapshot in a way of because it's just yeah. a shot of Google Maps. But then like, that's like an image it has to save to your system. Ah, true. Right? Yeah. Um, Get some compression up in there. Mm, they need some Pied Piper going on. Yep. They need some LODs. They you. need some LODs. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> some Google Map LODs. Anyway, I, d- I had no idea where I found it, and then, like, I found one a couple of days ago. Mm. Oh, you son of a... What, <laughs> did you, what did you name? I don't name? know anybody else with one. Uh, you named your first one something yeah, weird, Yeah, I, I named my first one Cotton Eye Joe, because I didn't know where it came from. I didn't know where it would go. <laughs> Fantastic. Cool. I hope you, like... Man... You should keep both of them because, like, those are rare. Like, I haven't seen a single one yeah, anywhere. No one just don't don't grind one of them up into candy. Keep them. No one. No, I don't know any, anyone who has one. Yeah. So I've now got two, and one of them is like seven hundred CP, which is not bad. Jesus, yeah, that's to catch one like that. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. It's just the one evolution though, so it's just never going to be amazing. Yeah, like you can't ever true. have like one hundred and fifty life. Mm. Anyway, so Pokemon Go, good yeah. stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do, do we have questions or anything? Uh, I don't have any questions. Well, uh, you want something? Do you want to talk about um, Elite Dangerous? Um, well, I don't. Uh, know I haven't been playing it. Actually, oh shit! Like Wait, you got eight million Starbucks? Yeah, I got eight million <laughs> space credits. Oh, yeah, okay. that's different to Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had eight million Starbucks. That would be that's great. Too much coffee, Blake. No, there's that's never much coffee. I don't understand what that is. It's, what is too much coffee? It's just when. Well, I think eight million is too much. Mm. I feel maybe I you know what it's an unpopular opinion I'm gonna go ahead and say it 8 million coffees is too much coffee you're crazy no, yeah, right, I mean you're, you're, a, you're a tea man so <laughs> you, you would say that I am a tea man um, yeah so uh, there's not really a lot to talk about it, but um and we're kind of starting to run oh jeez yeah we, we are too yeah but um <laughs> yeah like I've been playing like Elite Dangerous and um uh, I got really, really into it because of the basically because of the lead up to No Man's Sky. And oh I'm right, pre- when yeah. does that come out? A week and a half. Oh, actually, yeah. The next time we do this podcast, it would have been out for a week. Awesome. Oh, or, or almost a week. Yeah. So you'll be playing the wheels. We'll be playing that. that, and yeah. I have no interest in that game. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I everything I've heard about it is like it's a cool thing to explore, and there's not a lot to do. Yeah, but okay. Here's the thing. Like, I I'm okay with that because, dude, I've been playing. Elite Dangerous, and there is like very, very little to that game. Yeah. Like it's, 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 it's bare bones, really. Yeah, I think I need a little more guidance. So then now the universe, so the, the yeah, vast nothingness. Yeah, yeah. So then, uh, <laughs> if I'm if I'm thrown into No Man's Sky, where you mm. can land on planets with actual creatures, <laughs> oh, <man>. oh, oh. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. I get to shoot but, them, um, and then yeah, that's this, it. The, the way I got my eight million uh, space credits mm. was uh, they have this. Um, they had this uh, like uh, community event that um, they wanted uh, people to go out and scan just unknown systems. When you say they, the, like the people that the developed f- it, the fictional, well, yeah, the people that developed the oh, game, okay, cool, but the cool. fictional corporation, yeah, uh, in this, it's like a community event. Yeah, it's a community event. This this corporation in the game mm. puts out this call for like we want pilots to go out and scan these things. There's this like backstory that if you were interested in following you can because there's like alien stuff and they want to like there's like these alien uh 
resources that are kind of weirdly growing on some planets and they basically want to go out and scan for possible sites mm -hmm. right. to get this because that alien resource is super valuable. Sure. Um, so yeah, they, they asked people to go out and scan all these like systems, just random systems that are unknown. So I went out there for probably about four days yep. out into the unknown uh, scanning systems. And like that sounds way more fun than it probably is. <laughs> Does well, not sound fun at all. Because so, uh, the, the way you do it is if like... If that sounds way more fun than it is, <laughs> man. Because what you do is you fly to a sun uh -huh. and then uh, you sit there and you hold... What I do is hold down my light left trigger, which activates my scanner. Oh my God, that's so fun. And then it, it comes up, it'll it'll tell me how many like um, ast astro... Uh, ast ast how, how many like things are around okay. planets, planets it's a scanner yeah. yeah it's a scanner it'll tell me how many planets or asteroids or sure, whatever sure, sure. Right? Yeah, and yeah, I'll, I'll, points I'll, of interest yeah points yeah points of interest and then I'll look at the map and say okay there's like all these planets here yeah. do I want to scan them or not and if they if I think they look interesting I'll go down I'm getting bored just <laughs> Hearing it. Oh well, this is this is the point. <laughs> like it sucked. The, is what this is the point: is that it, like the actual minute to minute. I realize that it's like I'm enjoying it, but I realize that I don't know why because I'm not actually doing anything. I'm just flying to these points, which I don't yep. even have to land on the planet. I just can just get to a certain distance away from it, and then Scanning. it auto scans it. Oh. And scanning is just like you sit there and you you're wait. Just grinding. For it. That's all you're doing. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah. I'm grinding, and you just sit there. You don't have to. Right. Do any special mini game or anything? Right. You just sit there, and it eventually will go tick, 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 yeah. scanned, and then you move on to the next uh, one. Tick, 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 scanned. And this gives you credits every time. No. Okay. I'm getting to that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> for real. And so, yeah, and so you fly off to the next one, and I did this for like four days. Oh, <laughs> I know, right? Four days. And then yeah, and then flew back to the main space station. Yeah. Uh, cashed them in, which you go to the, like the universal cartographer, and you, which is which. Is just a menu in your ship. Uh -huh. So you fly, you dock down, and you have access to a new menu within your ship. Okay. Uh, you you scroll down to Universal <laughs> Cartographer. You click Sell Page, which has all the list of all the systems you've scanned. Right. Yeah. You sell that, and then uh, it it went to um, uh, contribution to this com this uh, community goal. Yeah. Right? This is this, isn't when you say community, you mean like everyone else playing the game in the world in the, yeah. in the real world yeah okay, yeah yeah sure. yeah like there is an online thing yeah yep. like, there's a lot of it's a little bit like uh how they say sure, no sure, man's sure. sky is gonna be right where like um there's a lot like most of the things you see as npcs i think yeah. maybe i've seen one actual human right because they had a weird name like captain catnip or something like that and okay. i was like that's definitely not a, right an npc anyway um <laughs> yeah but uh <laughs> yeah i i I con contributed enough to this this uh, community goal yeah. that I qualified for getting like eight million space credits. Is that a lot? That's a lot. I've okay. never seen that much money in my life. Okay. How and much I did you have before that? I had like, uh, I had like six hundred thousand. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So now I've got like major windfall. Yeah, massively yeah. for just four days of like going out into nowhere and scanning things. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, like. <laughs> what are you doing with it? Nothing. <laughs> Maybe get it. I haven't decided what I want to do because I'm like. Is there I, anything that costs that much? Well, I could get a better ship, but the thing is, like, if my ship blows up, I won't be able to afford the insurance to replace it. <laughs> <laughs> game sounds. Oh. Yeah, well, that, that's that, bloody game. Yeah, to, I know. Oh, this, I this. can't afford these down payments. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't, I don't have to get a second mortgage on my ship. Yeah. Oh, but that—that's the thing. Like, I don't. High interest bank account. Yeah. Get, get this, in there. This game, like. Are you are you You're negative not... gearing your ship? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but th this game, like, it's one of those games that you have to kind of make your own fun, right? Yeah. Like there is stuff to do, but like I said, if you want to go out and explore, that right. what I just described was me exploring. <laughs> yeah. You can land down on planets. Yeah. I bought the DLC that allows you to land on planets. Okay. Um, but the. <laughs> They only have lifeless planets that you can land on. You can't land on like Earth type planets or anything like that. So you're basically just rolling around an uh, empty desert that looks like Mars. I'm and, sure it's fun. And what you do. I'm sure it's fun, but man. Yeah. <laughs> just. It's. It's. Yeah. Like. It sounds tedious. It is. And, <laughs> and you're excited for No Man's Sky. But I'm excited for No Man's Sky. Okay. And I don't know why I keep playing Elite Dangerous, but I keep playing Elite Dangerous. It's, it pro it's just immersive, right? It's super immersive. I, I, yeah, I think that is it. Maybe it's just the immersive. It's like it's Minecraft, right? It's basically like there's this world for me to explore and and manipulate. 
Yeah, um, in some way. And even though there's no point to it, I'm enjoying the act. That's yeah. I guess that's it. I am enjoying the act. You, even you're not a goal oriented player. It sounds like you're more of a, an I mean, experiential player. Yeah, well, I mean, I set my own goals. I mean, that, right. that is the game where you do set your own goals, and you've got missions and stuff, but they're only short lived, you know. <clears throat> yeah. All right, I think we got to we got to cut it out. Yep, Let's, we're out of time. Let me tell you about the lords. Oh in, my god! Uh, <laughs> in, 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 no, uh, absolutely not. If you've <laughs> got really a question, <laughs> you know, if, email us. If you've got some questions, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, frontseatquestions at gmail dot com, or go to our Twitter or face uh, at frontseatcast or our Facebook page, facebook dot com slash frontseatcast, or our word pre- WordPress page. Front seat gamer at dot wordpress dot com at dot wordpress no just, just dot don't forget don't um, we're work, we're working on um, uploading stuff to uh, YouTube as well and by we we mean Blake <laughs> yeah he's, me. he, he's a hard worker yeah yeah someone's got to someone's got to keep this thing going <laughs> you really are the captain of the ship I'm just the the loud mouth at the front going, you're the front man you're the front man <laughs> front seat man yeah yeah, yeah well, you're the front seat man yeah. I'm the front seat gamer. Whoa. <laughs> I'm the <Right>. gamer ghoulie. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, uh, we'll be back in a couple of weeks with Hearthstone and... and um, no Man's Sky, no probably. Man's Sky. Yeah, yes. I reckon No Man's Sky. Um, and probably some other stuff. Who knows what yeah. it brings up. And uh, GTA. Oh, yep. uh, yeah. We'll talk some more. We can talk uh, No Man's Sky versus GTA. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, they are definitely doing a lot of stuff in No Man's Sky. Okay, that's all we have time for. Bye. Bye. <laughs>